Okay, folks, I'm gonna take a minute out of the action right now just to mention we are on Facebook. Punch in RCTV on Facebook and check us out. Send in your pictures, send in your videos, right? Or if you wanna just say hi to me or the cameraman or the producers or anybody on the crew, Facebook, folks, check it out. Well, as you guys can see, size shouldn't really limit the amount of fun you have. For inside or outside, you can always use a micro truck to play with. They have four wheel drive ones like these short courses here. They come out of the box with battery and charger in the box for just over $100. Whether you're inside or outside, you can always have fun with a smaller package. We're under 100 bucks here, we got a box of fun. Here we got the micro high roller. That box of fun has your remote control, your car, your charger, and your battery. Everything you need to get started with yourself. All you need is friends to buy some so you can get together and race them. It's a pretty simple little truck. It's got a basic brushed motor. It's got a speed control and receiver built into one. And it's got a little micro servo in the front for the steering. Whether you want an on-road or off-road action, two-wheel drive or four-wheel drive, there's something for you in the micro market nowadays. As you can see inside this Mini-Z, they all pretty much have the same components, just laid out a bit differently. Basic components are your motor, your speed control and receiver unit with your servo up front, and a battery source of some sort. And usually they all have suspension as well. All the same pieces that it takes to make your big one go, just in a smaller package. But you know what's not smaller? The amount of fun you're going to have. And now it's time for the Eliminator RC Tip of the Week. Hi, I'm Ryan from Eliminator RC. This week tech tip is going to be basic maintenance of electric motors. We have a couple different types of motors here. We have the rebuildable brushed motors, non-rebuildable brushed motors, brushless inrunners, and brushless outrunners. With a brushed motor, it is very important that you oil the bearings after you drive it, just to make sure there's proper lubrication. You can buy a bearing oiler or a bushing oiler like this at your hobby shop and it's simply just dabbing a little bit of oil on the back of the bushing and on the front bushing. And that's just to help it move a little bit easier in the bushings. This is especially important on bearing motors if you're using them in wet conditions. Now, if your electric RC car is overgeared, or if you're driving in tall grass or have drag in your driveline, it could cause your motor to heat up and wear out prematurely, where you have problems like this melting of the end caps, smells bad, doesn't work. This can be easily avoided by when you're driving, put your finger on the motor. If it's too hot, you can't hold your finger on it, it's too hot to drive. If it's cool, you can gear it up a little bit higher for more speed. With your rebuildable brushed motors, you can take them apart and clean them, and it is very important that you do so. You have to take the springs off to pull the brushes out, and at available at your local hobby store, you can buy a comm stick, which is for cleaning the commutator inside the motor and you can also clean it for cleaning dirt off of the brushes. You simply insert it into the motor, apply a little bit of pressure, not too much, just to be careful not to break it, and you spin it over. After that is done, you can see the little bit of material taken off of the end of the commutator. This leaves a clean surface for the brush to grab to make good contact, which gives you more power. For cleaning the brushes, you can use the round end and go with the curve in the brush. You can see that, that took a lot of the dirt off the brush and now you can use your motor cleaner to clean off the rest. Now you can go ahead and install your springs and brushes and your motor should be ready to go again. 
After you're done cleaning, you should take it easy on it for the first battery pack, just to let it wear in again. Now for the brush motors. With an in-runner brush motor, it's enclosed. You really don't have to worry about the dirt getting inside. However, you should oil the bearings and you should clean off any dirt around the outside because it could travel inside. So simply just take your nitro clean, give it a spray off, just to make sure it's clean. Then you can dry it off. And again with your oiler, just put a little dab of oil in there. Some of the motors have an enclosed end cap, so you can't get the rear bearing. You should remove it and oil the back bearing as well, but be sparingly so the oil doesn't travel into the electronics inside. With an outrunner motor, same rules as follow. If it's dirty, go ahead and spray it off. And you have to get into the bearings in order to oil them. Now, some motors require you to take them apart. It's simply just taking the back collar off to oil it. Now you can go ahead and install your collar. Now that you've seen basic maintenance of your electric motors, you can go and do this to yours. This is your Eliminator RC Tech Tip of the Week. Now stay tuned for more RC TV.